This channel is proudly sponsored by the Ira Kaiju Kickstarter, a tabletop RPG where you play as Kaiju that defend their territory from other giant monsters. Please check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Ira Kaiju. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about combat. Combat is very easy to carry out. At the start of combat, you roll one die for each character and add it to the initiative modifier stat of that character. The characters act in descending order of the number rolled. If two gain the same score, they each roll one die to break the tie. However, I prefer to break these tie situations when it comes to initiative based on the context of the encounter or rather the situation at hand. A combat turn is 6 seconds long, during which all actions carried out by characters happen almost simultaneously. When everyone has had a turn in combat, the combat round is considered complete, and any characters still alive will have another turn in the next round. The initiative order remains. When it's a character turn, they may move and perform a single action. When it comes to movement, the characters may move their distance, that is, their speed stat. This represents hundreds of meters. So for example, if you have a speed stat of 4, it would be 400 meters in a movement within a single turn, unless you decide to move twice that, but you lose your action. Now, it doesn't matter if you are attacking with unarmed attacks or melee weapons, that is, if you rip out a chunk of the environment you are fighting in, and you use that as a melee weapon or as a ranged weapon, or maybe you are using your powers, perhaps a beam attack, etc. Everything is solved pretty much the same. You have a dice pool formed by two attributes, or the same attribute repeated. You subtract the target's defense from your dice pool. You make your roll, and all dice that result in the success threshold or above count as hits. That is, they are going to be rolled when it comes to the damage roll. And in the damage roll itself, all dice that roll above a certain damage threshold or even kill threshold inflict damage. It's important to remember that if you roll above the kill threshold, you kill most enemies. In the case of player characters, usually they end up knocked out and bleeding. It's also important to consider that the damage threshold and the kill threshold depends on the sort of attack you are employing. For example, in the case of unarmed attacks, you don't have a kill threshold. You have a damage threshold of 6, usually. This could be modified by the target's damage modifier if there is one, or based on the context. And because this is a simple system, you don't need to memorize or figure out many variations of the same attack. Whether you are punching, grappling, slashing, kicking, everything is solved the same way. And depending on the situation, of course, context is king. So you can throw objects at your enemy, you can strike your enemy directly. When it comes to perhaps tossing something explosive, it could have an area of effect inflicted damage. And you can also pick up and throw a kaiju at another kaiju. So there is no limit to the things that you can do. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about the Game Master section, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this tabletop RPG. So, combat is incredibly simple. There are only a few things that you need to figure out, and the Game Master is going to be handling the application of such things, such as the damage and kill threshold. Unless you are employing a specific attack, then you need to inform the Game Master about the damage and kill threshold. The Game Master will also inform you if it's an opposed check, in the case of grappling, perhaps. So, a very easy to run combat system. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.